Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Fergie Way We Meet Each FM. In the last episode, if you remember, we did have Derby Day and we ran out winners against Manchester City, which is something we're used to doing here at the Fergie Way. In this episode, though, we do get presented with a rather different challenge. We are going to be playing Arsenal and they have been known to cause us problems in the past. However, I bet what you're all waiting to find out is, did Teach finally get round to doing something in the transfer window? And rather than sit around and make you wait and go through all the other news stories first, there you have it. Yes, I did. Gianluigi Donnarumma is now a Manchester United player. Now, why would you ask? Why, 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 why? If you have David De Gea, do you buy Donnarumma? He costs 46 million quid. Loads of money. No, it really, really isn't loads of money. The more I play FM17, especially when you're a big club, the crazier the transfers get. At 46 million quid, he seemed like a steal. Real Sociedad came in for Sergio Romero, who was in the last year of his contract, which wasn't going to get renewed. It made me think, well, who would I replace him with? And I thought, well, I'll check out Donnarumma. And if I can buy him and get him on a backup contract, I'd be pretty interested in that. And look at that. Donnarumma, world-class, oh well, no, that wouldn't be fair. World-class wonder kid, but not a world-class player just yet. But backup contract, happy days. I mean, he's, he's been happy to come to the club. He's getting a fair wage, 85 grand a week, you know, but we pay, we're pay. we paying loads of money to all the players in the club, so it doesn't matter too much. But if I'm going to have an understudy to David De Gea, why not have a young guy who is going to be the goalkeeper to have in the future? Take a little look at his stats. You can pause the screen, freeze frame it, do whatever you want. I'm not going to go through everything, but bear in mind I'm using the traffic light system on the attributes. Oh my lord. Gianluigi, you're a star. One thing that's worth a mention before we carry on any further, I didn't buy anyone else because to be honest, it was just so damn hard. I didn't want to buy any substandard players. I even had a moment and thought, you know what? If the bar is going to cost me like 200 million, everyone else is going to cost all this money. Why I look at some of the older guys, so I thought to myself, well, Ronaldo is 33 now. You know, he's still got it like. Bring him back home. See if he can do a job. Replace sort of Ebra with him. So I thought, went and viewed him. 4.7 million quid is worth. I thought, well, if I can get him for 30 mil, you know, it'll be a great way. If we went on to win the Champions League with the experience of Ronaldo, it'd be a great way to tie the series off. And no, they wanted 95 million quid. So... I tried, I tried in various areas, only Donnarumma made any sense to buy, so the window's shut, we'll have to wait now till January, but I'm quite happy with where the squad's at, I've got to be honest. In other news then, since the last episode, Paul Pogba has been injured, it happened in training, he got a twisted ankle, he was out for three to four, I think it's two to three weeks, he's only got three to eight days left now, however that does indicate that he won't be featuring against the Gunners today. In the EFL Cup draw, we did get Hull. We are at Old Trafford. It's another chance for the youngsters to try and retain that trophy. See if they can see it through. But yeah, Hull, easy going tie, I would imagine. And with a little bit of luck, progression. And also since the last episode, we have had the Champions League draw. And there we are, Group A, right at the top. Look at that. Legia Warsaw, nah, not bothered. Olympiacos, again, crap. Top of the table there, look just above our name, Juventus. No problem, because I think we can beat them over two legs, but when you consider I've been chasing Dybala all bloody summer, he is going to punish me for that. I can see it now. Dybala's going to score against us probably in both the games. But yeah, that's the draw. I think it's a very good group. I think we stand a very, very good chance of progressing. We're going to give the Champions League our all this season. And... The Juventus games are certainly going to be games to look forward to and we'll definitely get live comms. And the Player of the Month awards came round and unsurprisingly young Memphis, I suppose at 24 is not that young anymore, but Memphis Depay, two starts, five goals, did pick up Player of the Month, followed by the awesome news that once again we're doing the right job as a manager, picking up Manager of the Month, Eric Cantona there has won it so many, many times now, haven't we? We've, we've, we've just bossed it. Brian McClare at Newcastle coming in second, which is interesting to see. So yeah, that was the Player of the Month awards. And one last thing I did want to mention before we get into today's live comp. Look at that for a new story. Real Madrid are trailing Paul Pogba. And apparently, they're believed to be ready to table, wait for it, a breathtaking 65 million quid. You have got to be joking me. No chance Pogba's leaving. But if I had to sell him, bearing in mind we paid 100 million quid for him as good as, 
it's easily going to be 250 or 300 million. Anything less than that, he wouldn't go anywhere. But that being said, he ain't going anywhere anyway. In fact, he's out and out after he had a quiet first season. But into that second season, the guy has been gold. And he's been carrying on and on and on and on. Top quality player. My highest rated player to me personally in this save. No chance he's going to Madrid. Period. Another interesting one. Bayern Munich offered 42 million quid for Fosu Mensa. They got shown the door as well. And Juventus kept pushing me for Damian. They got as high as 47 million quid. But bearing in mind the hardball they played with Dybala. At 47 million quid, I would have sold Damian, to be honest. I mean, is is I say only a right back. I say that term very loosely. But for a right back, 47 million quid, I would have sold him all day long. But they had been dicking me over Dybala wanting 200 million. So there's no way I was going into business with him. Not a chance. So since the last episode, of course, we did go down to the bridge to play Chelsea. You can see here on the screen, it ended nil-nil. And I bet you're thinking, oh, what happened there? Wait till you see the team. So, look at that team. We did get Zlatan Ibrahimovic back. He had been injured, of course. He just This was his first game back. He could have 60 minutes. I gave him a little over. I uh, didn't manage to do anything, but I did want to play him because Beasley said, oh, Zlatan's the weakest link, blah, blah, blah. And they always try and play the player who they reckon is the weakest link when that happens. But yeah, I mean, the starting lineup, we had Rashford, Gomez, Gribbin, Mensa, Sanchez, Borthwick, Jackson, Rom, Ignoli, Twinzabi, Damian, and Donna Rummer, who'd only been at the club about 12 hours at this point. And we went down to the bridge. To be honest, we should have won. Rashford had two clear-cut chances in the very, very late stages of the game that were like, you convinced it was like, that's a goal, that's a goal, that's a... Oh, God, what have you done? They were they were bad moments for the game. But when you consider we played a full-strength Chelsea down at Stamford Bridge with, with the exception of maybe a couple of players, our young guys, our, our second string, nil-nil, I'm well happy with it. Well happy. So there we have it. It was just the one game. So today's live com, Arsenal, Old Trafford. Let's get over to match day. So as we enter match day, we can see the press are labelling it as a draw. It's saying, sorry, United and Arsenal fans can't separate the sides. However, the book is, of course, we're at home. The bookies have got us favourites. Arsenal at 11-5. to Our key man, De Gea. Their key man, unsurprisingly, Alexis Sanchez, who has just been. Let's take a quick look at Sanchez. 29 years old. Look at them stats. Still got it. In abundance, in absolute abundance. He's done so well for Arsenal over the last couple of years. I think Arsenal themselves playing a little bit better than real life. I mean, they've not been finishing fourth every season for a start. But the last sort of three seasons there, you can see he's had 31 appearances, 22 goals. He got less goals last season. So on that, we will go look at the today's team sheets. So we'll start with the home team, which is, of course, us. David De Gea in net, Alaba and Sadibi at left back and right back. We have Bayern Romagnoli. The reason Smalling drops is a lot of the, all the players now are just back from an international break. There's a lot of them lacking a little bit of condition, but I've tried to fit it in where I can. We have Ruben Neves in the defensive midfield position and Herrera in the supportive. And in light of Paul Pogba's injury, I've gone for Sanchez playing the advanced playmaker role. Not quite sure how it'll work out. I do have Gribbin on the bench and do plan on using him in that position at some point during the game. We then have Juan Matter in the Trecotista role and then we have Rashford and Martial up top. See how they get on. Both these guys relatively underperforming at the moment. Rashford played the advanced forward in the last game. Scuppered a couple of chances. I'm hoping dropping him down a complete forward might get a little bit more from him, but time will tell. One thing I forgot to mention, you may have seen it, but Fosu Mensa did get sent off for a double booking in the Chelsea game. That's why he's missing today. And as we look at the Arsenal team for today, guys, Shashezny's in net. Monreal, Mustafi, Koscielny and Bellerin at the back. They then have Di Maria and Cazola in the middle with Sanchez, Ozil and Ramsey playing out right. Doesn't seem right. And... Maro Icardi sat up top. Arsenal will be dangerous. They've given us problems in the past. With those problems in mind, what's what's Roy going to say? Tackle, tackle, tackle. Now, Sanchez, I totally agree with. Aaron Ramsey is a bit of a brute, so he can probably take a tackle, so we won't bother doing that there. But yeah, maybe Icardi as well. Icardi's, Icardi's a bit of a tank, but He's getting used to the Premier League now. He was there from the very beginning of this game. This is his third season at Arsenal. He has been steadily getting better for them. He had a great World Cup as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, so, yeah, we, what we'll do now is we'll just go into the team talk. It's not about the fans, because this is Arsenal. They are a big team. It is a big game for us. However, we want to put a worthy display on. The people who have not gone green, one matter. Passionately, I've got faith in you. Ruben Neves, passionately, there's a lot more to come from you. And then what we'll do is... 
We've got De Gea back in net. He did sit out the last game in place of Donnarumma. Donnarumma who did do quite well. Uh, but Donnarumma is very much... De Gea will start most games. Donnarumma is going to play a few because I don't want him to drop off, drop off by not getting first team football. But De Gea still the main man. So we head into the game. And as I say, Arsenal are a team that's caused us problems in the past. Um, they beat us in the first season, I think it was one or two times. They have given us a draw here or there as well. Um, so I am expecting them to come at us. If there's going to be any teams that come at us this season, it's going to be the likes of Arsenal. It's Mata now. Mata gives the ball away to Monreal. Romagnoli manages to get it back though. It's Herrera. To Rashford. Rashford on the right wing nods it into Mata. Rashford whips a ball in. Wasn't good enough though. Mata again. Matters on everything. He gets a goal as well. What a finish. What a finish by Juan Mata. Just picked it up on the edge of the area and absolutely leathered it. So the ball was scooped out. Sanchez picks it up on the edge. Plays it into Mata. Mata takes a couple of touches. Round one man. Levers it. I mean, Petr Cech stood. Oh, well, it's not even Petr Cech. What am I on about? Shishesny stood. No chance. He did try to get into it up into that top corner. But Mata put so much power in it. It's 1-0 United. It was only four minutes in. Arsenal yet to do anything to us. It looks like we're going to romp this season as well already. I mean, when you consider we've played City and Chelsea, if this result remains the same, out of those nine points, we'll have took seven. It's like it'll be another one of them years, guys. It's Matter again to Martial. Herrera, Rashford. Rashford back to Matter. I thought he was going to grab another one. It would have been ridiculous. It would have been two in a minute. But uh, Matter on the corner now. Whips one in. Herrera. It goes out to Sadiba. Ruben Neves. Neves out to Mata. Mata will try and force one in, but he didn't. Sanchez to Martial. Martial's been tucked down, though, and will Mata line this up? He will. I've got a funny feeling here, guys. I really do. Oh! Bang my head on my back of my chair. Um, unlucky Mata. I thought that was going in all the way, especially that we got to see the foul leading up to the free kick. But it's Ozil now to Bellerin. Sanchez whips it off him and releases Martial down the left. He's cut inside, though, to Mata. Matter's not got the legs he once had, lays it off to Herrera. Herrera just taps one straight at Chesney. It's still 1-0, but we are only seven minutes into the game and we are dominating. Sidibe now manages to win a corner by the looks of it. Have a look at that, 64% possession. It is a relentless onslaught at the moment. It comes out to Herrera, he whips it back in, Romagnoli! Oh, Neves was offside. Rob Agnoli there went, nearly got himself, a, nearly grabbed himself a goal as Juan Mata lines up another free kick. It's Alaba now. It's Mata again. So Sanchez cleared out and it will be with Alexis. He doesn't manage to get it under control. He might have been able to get a little bit of a counter-attack on there but uselessly gives the ball straight to Sidiba and Arsenal get nothing. Sidibe now. It's on the edge. It's Ruben Neves wins it back. Alaba. Alaba with a strike from distance. Great save by Shishesny. Gets right down into the bottom corner. Pushes it out. We will continue on with the corner though. And it goes only as far as Mustafa. He's walking it out. And they're not even got a chance. I mean, Arsenal have got everybody behind the ball. Cazola. Ramsey. Back with Ramsey again. Sanchez digging at his heels. Don't get booked, son. Will be a free kick now, Ozil, from distance. And he's put it over the bar. Yep, Sanchez just just sort of um, almost like a little terrier just yapping at the ankles of the midfielders there. He needs to be careful. It's Cazola with a free kick onto Mustafi, saved by De Gea. Gathers it up nicely. It's Sidibe now. Sidibe getting all the way down the right, beats two men. Cuts inside, plays it to Matt. To Rashford, it's 2 0. Marcus Rashford, who's. Not had the greatest of times just lately. Missed a couple of sitters in the Chelsea game. Repays the faith a little bit in this game. As we can see, Sidibe into Mata. Mata with a quality first-time ball. Releases Rashford. Rashford had all the space in the world to take the shot. Took it away. It's 2-0 United. Halfway through the first half. It's Neves. Sanchez. Back out to Sidibe on the right. He's got three men there to try and get past on that wing. Back to Sanchez. It's Herrera now. To Sanchez again, Neves, Mata, this is nice, it's Herrera. To Martial and he's, he's snatched at the shot there really on the edge of the area. We had a little bit more time, we had a lot of men around him. Took the shot on anyway. So we're in at half time, we are pretty pleased with them. We're going to calmly tell them as much, very happy and we want them to keep it going. If we just take a look down at the stats, if anyone's underperforming at the moment, you'd probably say it'd be Martial. We also have Neves who's only playing a 6.8. We'll keep an eye on them going forward. 
Um, but hopefully in the second half, Arsenal come at us with a little bit more. I mean, they've had four shots, so they've not done horrific. But I just expected a bit more of a game. Chesney out to Bellerin, to Ramsey, across to Alexis. Alexis trying to cut inside, gives it to Cardi and Ozil. Takes a shot from distance. It was never really troubling De Gea too much. Alaba now to Sanchez. Sanchez will try and give it back to Alaba. He does Sadibi. Don't know what he was doing there. He just seemed to nod it down from the edge of the area. Was never going to trouble Shashesna. Free kick at the other end. Saved by De Gea. We're getting into the 60th minute. I'm probably going to start looking at some changes now. Callum Gribbin will come on. We're going to take off Martial. We'll bring on Memphis. Zlatan is knackered, he's trying to get his match fitness up, so I might give him the last 10 minutes in place of Rashford. But for now, that'll do us dander. It's Mata to Sanchez. Martial to Rashford. Rashford, he had the chance, he didn't take it. Marcus Rashford, he has already got himself on the score sheet, but really should have added something there. Not good enough. Ozil with a corner. It's cleared out, but only as far as Ozil. Oh, Baye's beat him to it. It's Memphis now, counter-attack is on, it's Rashford. Arsenal players are catching up. He gives it out to Sidibe. It was a great ball. Sidibe across the rare road. It's blocked. I really felt we had our third goal coming there. Didn't quite make it. Alaba now to Gribbin. Gribbin to Herrera. 3-0. Game over. Arsenal are not getting back in this. I was getting a little bit concerned if Arsenal would have grabbed one. They could have really made a late push. Give us that tight 10 minutes at the end of the game. It's not coming, no. Gribbin just on the pitch. Across to Herrera. Goalkeeper was nowhere. Chesney was too busy. Look, he's scratching his head. What's he playing at? So I'd say it's that time now to try and get Zlatan's fitness back up a little bit. Of course, he had a massive injury. So we've brought him on. Rashford being the man to come off. And with a little bit of luck. It's not It's not about him scoring. It's just about him stretching his legs a bit. Trying to trying to push on with his uh, fitness levels. Because as an older guy, it will have hit him quite hard being out for four or five months. It's Mata. Mata whips one in. Romagnoli again. Dangerous in the air. Especially in an attacking sense. Ron Magnoli, obviously, uh, the new signing, has played quite well. He did score earlier on in this game, if you remember, but unfortunately for him, Neves must have got jealous or something, got himself caught offside, but either way, it's gribbing. We are looking like we're heading into what's probably the final highlight. Sidibe now to gribbing. Callum gribbing. Has the ball took off and it goes out for a throw in, and I'm pretty confident now with just a minute left. I wouldn't imagine any fireworks going on in the last minute of the game. It's a cardi now. Cardi skins one, two, it's Gribbin, snatches it back off him, running back into the defence, doing a bit, decent bit of work there, Gribbin. It's Herrera now, Mata, 25 seconds left. Granite Xhaka to Alexis, mm, Alaba, too good. Alaba has been a revelation as well. Alaba's like a little unsung, sat down at left back there, but he's done so, so well. So he should do for the money we paid. Obviously, after Luke Shaw having his little tantrum. Uh, but nonetheless, he's done really well. So that's the game over. We are going to congratulate the team. Once again, we are getting very, very used to beating Arsenal. Good win for us. One matter, playing a nine. Dominating performance. Now, 6.8 from Martial is not great. 6.6 from Depay is certainly not what we want to see. So I'm going to tell him I'm not happy. And we will move on from that. So what we'll do now, as usual, we'll head over to the schedule. And see what's coming up in tomorrow night's episode. So that's the end of episode 3. Of course, we have just dispatched Arsenal very, very easily, it has to be said. Uh, a 3-0 win. At the moment, we've only really conceded three goals in, this, in the whole sort of season. Two of them coming from Wolves. Have that as a parter. See? Did alright, didn't you? Um, but yeah, we've got Leisure Warsaw. I think it'll be a bit of a crap game. We can play youngsters there. Uh, we've got Newcastle and then we've got Hull. But here's the big ones. We then have Liverpool at home in the Premier League. And then we have Juventus at home in the Champions League. So I'm going to go away. I'll play the three games off camera. And the next episode will only feature Liverpool. However, episode after, you can bet your ass it's going to be Juventus. So on that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. I think it was a belter. Beating Arsenal is always good to see. The team are coming together. We've got to see some of the youngsters coming in. Um, and obviously the injured Paul Pogba gives chances to the likes of Renato Sanchez, Callum Gribbin. So, all oh, grand. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. If you're new around here, consider dropping a sub. I hope to see you in tomorrow night's episode. I've been Teach FM, and I'll catch you later. See you in a bit.